You are going on a blind date after months of loneliness. Don't mess this up. That's very reassuring. Hey, it's me, Hinnaby, and welcome to Blind Date. This is a game where you get to go on a blind date, and I have never been on a blind date, and I was actually really excited about the concept in a game, which I'm sure there are other games, so why are you getting all excited? Hello. Oh, little, little music in the background. Hello. Okay, let's see. Hello, hey, or... Oh, good, you made it. Let's delve deep into these into these answers. Oh good, you made it makes us seem desperate. Hey is like, eh, we don't care. Hello is too formal? So the answer is you don't say anything at all. <laughs> okay, um, hello, it's good to see you. Sorry I'm late, I had to take the bus here because my car's been broken down. Well that's unfortunate, I know that feeling, it really sucks. It's no big deal happens to the best of us, or ha, shit happens. Well, <laughs> ha, shit happens is like, maybe we don't want to curse in front of him because maybe he's not into that, or it's no big deal. Let's say it's no big deal. Thank you. I really hate not being on time. See, if we would have said something else, it would have been, it would have been bad. So tell me more about yourself. What do you do for work? I work as a contractor. It pays well. I work as a massage therapist or I work as a software engineer. <laughs> this massage therapist one could, uh, could spiral things and there needs to be room for Jesus. Say we're a software engineer. That must make you a lot of money. You know what they say, ladies like a man with a huge paycheck. Paycheck is capitalized. The woman looks at you for a short, awkward moment. Are you nervous? You look nervous. Oh, I'm the guy. It's been a while. Yes, I am. No, not at all. I'll say I am because maybe I'm like, I'm nervous by your presence, girl. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Just try to keep calm. I'm sure we'll have a good time. So what's your name? Oh, I get to choose my name. Mike, Chris, or Josh. I would say that I am a Mike. Mike and Ike. Well, Mike, you have a wonderful name. Oh, don't. It's just Mike. You don't have to say that about me. So tell me, are you from around here? Well, I, uh, I grew up here. Oh my gosh, there's a fly. Got him. Ew, oh, moved here when I was young. I moved here a few months ago. Yeah, I moved here a few months ago. I've lived here my whole life. I love it. The air, the trees, and the people. It gets awful lonely out here, though. Who was your last lover? Whoa, Beatrice, please. Can we be delving into these kind of questions? Excuse me? Ran. Pardon? What? Uh, let's say parted? You heard me. Who was the last woman you slept- Wow! You are just- That's a straightforward woman right there. Uh, I don't really feel comfortable answering that. It's been a very long time. If it's really that important for you to know. <laughs> Remain silent. Let's just answer. Let's try to be honest with her. The woman lets out a long, almost apologetic sigh. I'm sorry. That was rude of me. You must forgive me. I haven't been on a proper date in a few years. Hey, I haven't either. That's great. Great news. Laugh nervously. It's all right. I've been out of commission myself for quite some time. Yes, I'll say that. Thank you. The woman offers a weak smile. I do appreciate you taking me out. This is a really nice restaurant. Tell me, Mike, do you cook? Oh, girl, do I cook on occasion? Yes. Um, well, I'm actually uh, really good at it. I can't tell if I'm lying or the things I'm saying are actually truth. You know they say that women look for a man who cooks. It's a very attractive quality. It's true. Make some grilled cheese sandwiches. Haha, <laughs> do you seriously not remember your own mother's name? Oh no. Excuse me, how do you even know my mother's name? Okay, that's a little disconcerting. <laughs> I'll say this one, that seems a little less forward than B, but still, how do you know my mom? The woman pauses for a long while. You hadn't mentioned her before? Is this a stalker that's finally getting to go on a date with me that's like really excited about it? No, I didn't. Seriously, how do you know my mother's name? Or Jesus Christ, can you be forward? How do you know my mother? No, I didn't. Try to keep it casual. Try to keep it casual. The woman's eyes grow shifty as she thinks intently. I'm so sorry. The girl at work told me about her. Apparently your mother used to work for the company. Oh my, you must think I'm some kind of creep or something. I was starting to think that, however, I'm really glad I didn't freak out too much. It's a little rude to bring it up at dinner like that. This guy's like, really? <laughs> Let's do, oh boy, that's a relief. Like, you're not stalking me. I would hope so. 
why are you here? You mean like on this earth or in this restaurant at this point? What are these questions this woman is asking me? This is not a good first blind date. <laughs> well, I've been trying to go on a date. Honestly, I'd probably say that. I'm beginning to question that. Exi oh, here we go. Existentially or situationally? That's what exactly what I would say. <laughs> situationally, but that's not quite what I meant. Why are you here? Why did you feel alone enough to come on this date? Well, I haven't had the kind, loving human touch in about three years. Acting like this, what, this is beyond rude or wow, just wow. I mean, she's hitting the hard hitting questions. She plays no games, I'd say. Why are you acting like this? You've lived alone for what? Three years, six months, 23 days? God, I can't imagine how tired you must feel living in that lonely con- Okay, nope, she's stalking me. We gotta call the cops on this chick. <laughs> 23 days? Seriously, what the hell? Please stop, this is not polite, or remain silent. Let's do this, because it's kind of getting like, personal, like, passive aggressive attacks, and I don't like it. God, you're pathetic. Did you really think going on a random blind date was gonna fix everything? I've seen the way you sleep, the way you drink, the way you pick your nose when nobody's looking. That's a big nose too, he could get his whole fist up there and literally, okay, we don't want to talk about it. Please, stop. Why is this woman coming to a blind date to harass someone? I don't want her to bother me anymore and call me pathetic, but like, just please stop. I'm trying to be polite to you, chick, seriously. I could see you shaking all the way from the front door, nervous as all hell. I can see. Do you really think anybody would agree to go on a blind date with you? But you did. Please, I can't take this. Why are you saying these things? I just don't want to be alone anymore. It hurts so much. Remain silent. I'm not going to remain silent. Uh, although that sometimes does speak volumes. Remaining silent. Maybe she's trying to make you have a realization. Because this is exactly what you deserve. But we haven't done anything. I'm just... Uh... You hate yourself and everyone around you. And yet reserve the right to feel lonely. Oh. Oh, that was really deep. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry I'm itching my face so much. I'm very itchy right now for some reason. For the love of God, stop. I can't take it anymore. I feel so alone. I feel so empty inside. Remain silent. We'll remain silent for this one, you know? Let's see what she has to say. You've been dead inside for years and you don't have... Oh. Oh! It, you don't have to end it already. I've seen you staring at a piece of rope hesitating at the top of a building god you're pathetic what the freak why is this woman trying to get us to kill ourselves i needed contact i needed love i needed help you needed help you need to realize the truth you need to realize that you are nothing completely and utterly insignificant in the grand scheme of your life no it's my life it's centered around me okay so i have to play a scheme Oh, gosh dang it, I, did, I just clicked something. I think I clicked you right. And you're a whiny little squirt whose sole purpose is to be unhappy. Yet here you are, unaccepting of your own fate. I honestly don't even know why I bothered to come at all. Is she even real? Are we just staring at a, like, a blank seat and this is all imagined? I can't believe I came here tonight. I'm sorry, Mike. I feel your pain. It is coming out in anger. The thing is, how you feel is so harrowing. You seem to lose all sense of being human. It hurts to look in your eyes and see only pain on a blind date of all things. Oh. So maybe she's concerned about us a little bit? I just want to be accepted. I just want to be loved. I just want to be happy. Everybody wants something, Mike. And frankly, what you want isn't something worth giving. This was a mistake, Mike. You shouldn't have come here. You should have just stayed home at a whole... You should have just stayed home and ordered a pizza like you had originally planned. And don't remain silent. Breathe heavily through your nose or sigh. This one. I was never going to be the one to fix these problems. I didn't say you had to, but you can, but you should, but you won't. No, I won't. I'm confused about our relationship. I'm not gonna fix your problems, Mike. I'm just gonna make them worse. I'm not the solution. People like me are the problem. People like you are the problem. You get in the way of your own happiness. I followed you for several years. You are my obsession. And I've never seen someone so unhappy. This is really deep. Oh my gosh, like this is 
existential feelings and questions. Are you kidding me? So what do I do? Is there any hope of happiness for me? Why do I do these things to myself? Okay, so I said that I was gonna try to keep this like kind of my first blind date, but it kind of spiraled into not my first blind date. This is way too, way too deep for my first blind date. Is there any hope for happiness? Why do I do these things to myself? So what do I do? I don't know. That's something you're gonna have to figure out on your own. And yes, I mean it on your own. You simply aren't fit for a relationship. You had to rely on a blind date to be here tonight. Some women who you've never met, yet who knows you very, very well. What? <laughs> if you've been following me, I understand what I need to do now, but I don't know if I have the courage. Am I really at fault here though? How about we ask her if she's been following us because I, I wanna know. <laughs> yes, for your entire life. God, you're a mess. I really shouldn't have come. You really shouldn't have come. I'd say I make these things worse, but you were already a mental wreck before I came here. Gosh, dang. Can we leave? Is there an option to leave the date right now? Cause I'm, I just, I, I, what is this? It's so sad. It's just who I am. I wish I could do it all over again. Don't apologize to her. She doesn't deserve your apologies. It's just who I am. I wish I could do it all over again. I know. However, you need to realize that you can never go back to those things. There's nothing you can do. You're quite frankly destined to be alone forever. Yeah, a girl may come into your life every once in a while, but it's just going to be a reminder of what a piece of pathetic swine you are. I don't have to take this. I don't have to take this. I don't have to take this at all. Does it ever end? Does it ever get better? Will I ever find love? Is this... Who is this woman? Is she a psychic? Uh, I want to say, does it ever get better? No. Plain and simple. You're barren. What? desolate life you lead is barren. Does this scare you? Does it terrify you? Because oh boy it should. Because you are alone. Completely and utterly alone. Look at your life. It's empty. It's lonely. And it's just generally a mess. It's a barren desert. No life. No love. Just dry lonely land. This man has for three years has been building up emotions so in the end when faced with your loneliness faced with the fact that you're wasting your time what are you gonna do i wonder if there are different endings to this because there are so many options that could go so many different ways if i was nicer or rude or whatever i'm going to leave i'm going to stay i'm gonna leave i'm not gonna stay here with this chick no way i'm going to leave i'm going to leave i knew it i knew there was no I knew there was no one there. Whoa, wait. I guess he's not coming. What? Interesting. I liked it. I liked it a lot. What if we chose to stay? Would we have actually met her though? Thanks so much for playing. Be sure to share with your friends and fans. I will indeed. This is a free game. You guys can totally check it out on Game Jolt. Download it for yourself. See if there are any other options. I'm going to go back through and see what happens if I click stay. And maybe that'll give us a little bit of a different ending. I'm not sure. I'm really hoping. <laughs> we are almost here. Okay. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. Oh. <gasps> Hi, I'm Sarah. The woman smiles. And we would have talked ourselves out of potentially happiness, which I'm sure that that chick's not gonna say any of that stuff. I'm almost positive. I really enjoyed how it's, it's really real. Like people just get so nervous that they talk themselves out of things. And I, I know about that way too much. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoyed the return of face cam. The link will be in the description for this one. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.